Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome finger style lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're gonna continue enhancing your thumb picking skills by adding bass solos to your finger style. Yep, adding bass solos to your chord progressions uh, using your thumb. So this is video number three in this little mini series. So if you haven't watched the previous two lessons, then I highly recommend it because in the first video, uh, especially in the first video, we explore the whole bass soloing technique. Uh, using finger styles. So um, this is gonna be the second chord progression that we're trying and it's a little bit more complicated bass solo wise than the one in lesson number two. So if this is the first video you're watching in the series and you find it a little bit difficult, just watch the previous two videos. So the chord progression in this video is actually a pretty standard one. It's G. It's D over F sharp, okay? It's D with two on the sixth prime. It's E minor and C, okay? Very, very predictable, pretty standard. G, D over F sharp, E minor, C. Now, the technique that we're gonna use is pretty much the same as in the previous two lessons but we're gonna have to search for ways to connect the chords and it's a little bit more difficult than by doing it with, with G, C and D, which we used before. Because um, this chord progression has a little bit more personality to it. So we need to add personality to the bass solo. Now the key here is still G. So, it's the same notes that we can use as in the previous lesson. It's 0, 2, 3 on strings E and A. Okay, and it's 0, 2, 4 on the D string. Okay. But this time we're going to concentrate on strings A and E. With the open D string, perhaps. Because we have F sharp here. Um, and this F sharp is no longer a bass note, right? It's not really bassy, but D is kind of a borderline note. It's sort of a half bass, half high note. So half bass, half treble. Let's start. We want to get from G to F sharp. So you can do You can do the whole thing. You can do 2 0 on D, 3 2 on A, and then F sharp. This is an interesting, this is a bold choice. It's not the obvious choice. The obvious choice would be E and F sharp, would be 0 2. Okay, but this is pretty obvious. This is. Okay, it's almost not a bass solo. If you want to do a bass solo, you can do C, B, A, and then F sharp. Okay, this is a solo because it's melodic. Now, you see, it leads really nicely and fluently into the next chord. So, you can do C and B, and then you have this little awkward movement. But if you add the A to it, okay, it's interesting. It's three, two, zero on A and then the F sharp. You can also add D to it. You can start from D, so you can do the whole scale. D, C, B, A, and then the next chord. It doesn't have to be complicated. It's just a bass solo. It's just a little lick. So you can do B A and then F sharp. It doesn't have to be complicated. You can do exactly the same thing to E minor. Hey, this is 
Salsa Bobby from Lick and Riff Electric, yeah, the new channel here on YouTube. And I'm interrupting this program to invite you to join me live every Sunday on the Graphy platform for live electric guitar lessons. So I will see you every Sunday live on the Graphy platform. Come join me. We're making a lot of noise, which you can't really do with acoustic guitars right? Because the sound options on the electric guitars are so much sweeter. So come join me every Sunday live on Graphy and I will let you go back right now to your acoustic lessons. So I will see you there. Okay? C, B, A. Exactly the same thing. Or the whole line or just the little lick at the end. I can do two zero on A. So now you can do something different. You can do you can do a hammer on to two and then zero again on A. Okay, so and that can be your motif. You can do that into E again. Okay, or you can do A B C. If you don't like that, you can do C, B, E. And then when you want to go to C, it's, it's the same thing. You can do A, B, C. You can do G, A, B, C. You can do B, A, C. Okay? Two, zero, three. You can add D into it. You can do B, A. And then the D string. And then C. So let's try to tie it all together. You can do two zero on A and then D C. Okay? It's all a matter of adding a subtle movement within the scale and have the, the ending note as a surprise. Okay, you have the scale and then the ending note gives it color. It's all about the ending note. Let me try to give you a few more examples um, and I'm gonna start with the ones that we already have and I'm gonna try to vary it on them. zero on D okay as kind of a jump okay if you have a low bass line you would like to start from a high note next time so you can do two zero okay sorry you can do two zero so let's say you have G and you start from okay the notes on the A spring same thing you want to vary it a little bit so it's not the same thing all the time. Okay, you start from D this time, the D string. Okay, and then C. And when you want to go back to G, it's the same thing. You can just do anything you want. Um, okay, anything works uh, when you want to go back to G. Literally anything works there. Um, the real challenge here is the F sharp and E minor. That's the challenge. That's where you have to be subtle. All the rest between C and G is pretty much, um, uh, it's pretty much vanilla. You, you can, you can, G and C are the vanilla flavors here. It's, it's the D over F sharp. Okay, it's the F sharp in the bass and E minor that give this chord progression the color. So those are some of the bass solos that you can try. You can experiment. You should experiment. And just try to be crazy. You don't have to be subtle all the time. When you practice, try to be wild. Try to create wild um, excursions here. Something like this. C. Okay, you, 
can you can be a little bit wilder um, just so you can figure out all the options. Okay, you can do a hammer on pull off. You can slide. You can you can um, you can put as many notes in there. You can cram them in. It's it's um, I highly recommend it. Try as many things as possible so you can know and you can pick the right ones when you really need to. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Enjoy.